What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. You're probably wondering where we are in this video. You'll all be revealed in the next video. We're part way through recording the release video. But um, as you can probably tell, we're sat in a motorhome. Um, so we purchased a motorhome, but we'll go into more detail into that in the next video. Um, but this video is a tech review, if you want to call it that. So um, when we got our motorhome, we had a problem. Well, we didn't have a problem. Um, it didn't currently come with an inverter, so Ali couldn't use a hairdryer or hair straighteners. So we looked at options for adding in an inverter um, and additional batteries. Now where the batteries are in this van, we've got one under the passenger seat, one under the driver's seat. And then under the seat nearest the first battery, we've got a water tank, so we can't put a, an inverter there. So we looked at different options about getting an inverter and it was just too expensive. We were looking probably up four or £500 for an inverter and then probably looking at another £500 for the lithium batteries. And then we were looking at all the installation costs. Luckily, this has got solar. So we reached out to a few different companies um, and asked them what different solutions we've got. Um, we contacted a company called All Power who were kind enough to send us over this um, power generator, I think they're called Power Bank, solar power generator. Um, so we're going to do a bit of an unboxing video and we're going to do a bit of a demo of the, the, the video and show you some of the specs that it can offer. Um, but we'll start with an unboxing. So as you can see, it comes in a nice little big box. Um, a <laughs> nice little big. <laughs> nice little big box, yeah. So this is the All Power S2000 portable power station. Um, it is, you'll have to bear with me because I've got my spec sheet here. So. Um, it holds a 1500 watt hour battery, so equivalent to a leisure battery, what you'd normally have is about 125 amp hours. Um, and the beauty of it is, is it holds, um, it's got a 2000 watt inverter built in with it, which has got a peak power surge of 4000 watts, so it's pretty beastly. Um, but yeah, we're going to do an unboxing of it and show you what you get in the box, because we've been dying to get rid of this massive, great big box. So I'll open it up and we can have a look. So straight off the bat, we get a quick start guide and what looks to be like a warranty activation. So you do get some kind of warranty on there, but it, I don't know how much you get, but I'm guessing it'd be 12 months, but one of them things that you never actually look at when you buy something. So we can put that to one side. This looks like it's just a big box of foam, to be fair. Premium packaging. It is decent packaging, to be fair. Like normally you'd expect it to be pretty cheap, but yeah, can't complain about that. The foam would be pretty good to stop the rattling as we're driving in the motorhome. So we've got here, what's this? Looks like it is. Looks like it's a, a cover, so it's like an all power waterproof cover by the looks of it, so. Keep it nice and protected when you're traveling that one. Yeah, it smells a bit, smells a bit fishy, but it probably just needs airing out. Yeah, we'll pop that to one side. Um, what else we've got in here? I've got a bag of something here. So I've just got a little, what looks like a shaving bag. I was going to say that, a little shaving Assuming it's kit. got some cables in it, but if you have any need of a shaving bag, you've got one of them. So we've got a standard, I think in the UK we call them kettle plugs, but it's like a PC plug, where you pull it into a um, PC. So that's handy, because if you ever run out, you can always pretty much find one of these kettle leads in a house. And it's got a quite a decent length on it as well, so I don't know if I can, I'm demonstrating that enough. And then we have got a 12 volt car charging port. So I'm guessing that's an MT, I think it's MT or MC60 connection. Um, it's like a solar, what goes into the solar on the front of them, but that's really good to see. A 12 volt um, car charging port so it can be charged while you're driving. So if you haven't got access to a power supply, you can top it up along the way. Um, but there is other ways of topping it up as well with solar. So I'll show you that when we get to that stage then the solar is actually in the back but we'll do a bit of a separate piece at the end on the solar and then this is the main article you might have to help me here Ali. So, pop that to one side i'm going to pop this box down here so you can actually see so this is the the main item um, it's quite weighty so i think it's about what did we say the weight was on it so i think it's 15 kilos so oh no so it's seven and a half kilos oh no, i'm looking at the solar panels here it's 14 and a half kilos sorry and it's 37 by 24 and a half by 24 centimeters so lift wise it's actually quite straightforward to lift 
Um, it is reasonably sized actually, it'll fit quite nice under our seat that we've got down the left hand side. So as you can see on the front, we have got four AC inputs, so your 240 volt. We've got two USB-C, which I'm guessing will be 100 amp. And then we've got four USB type A's, which I believe are five amp. And then we've got the XT60, not MC60, which is the solar. And then we've also got the 12 volt, which pops in there. So it does come with, with Bluetooth as well. So some of the features that it's got, I'll read out the spec sheets for you. So as I mentioned, we've got four AC outlets, two USB-A ports, two USB-C ports, two DC car, uh, one DC car port and one DC 5521 port. Uh, the recharge time using the um, 240 volt from the plug is about four to six hours. And then with 400 watts of solar, you can actually charge it up within two hours. Um, the two different types of solar panels are available for this, so you can get the 200 watt and the 400 watt come in different packages. Um, and the price of this unit at the minute is 1,059 with the 200 watt solar panel. It's actually got 24% off. Usually it's 1,400 pounds, and then with the on its own it's 859 pounds and it's currently got 14 percent discount so original price is 999 so in reality it's quite a normal price compared to like the eco flows and stuff like that and the bluettes so uh, it is a decent price i need to open a window because it's getting really hot in here, <laughs> in here so what we're going to do now is i'm going to show you what it sounds like when it charges up because there is a fan when you charge it up so we charged this up when we, we first got it and um, just to make sure that because we come away this time um, but it is quite noisy when it charges. You get like a, I think it's like a power cooler supply. So you'll see when I plug it in down here, if I can find the plug. So I don't know if it's, so I don't know if you can hear that sound. I'm trying to get as close to it with the mic as possible. So it is quite loud when it's charging up. We've not tried charging it with the solar yet, but it seems to get stuck on 99% or whether it, it takes a while to get to 100%. Um, but it's not written in the guides, but you can use this as a, it's not an uninterruptible power supply. I think it's not, it's a UPC, not a UPS. So if you was plugged into this, I believe you can use it for pass through. So if you was using like a computer and you had a power cut at the plug, um, it would transition straight through. However, you wouldn't want to do that because you're constantly charging and discharging the batteries. Um, but in an emergency situation, you could use this as a, as a, a temporary uninterruptible power supply. I will turn this plug off because it is quite loud for now, um, but we will move on to some testing of the items. So we've got, um, we've got an Apple Watch. It's quite straightforward. You can, we can do a hundred watt charging. So we can just unravel this cable. I'm going to just pop that into there. So this is 100 watts, uh, 100 watts, I think it is, 100 amps, I can't remember. Um, then to turn it on, you have to click the AC, he says. Or is it DC? DC, sorry, not the AC. Um, so that has to start charging. So according to that, what is charging the, the Apple Watch, it's got 99 hours left, um, but we can add a bit more on there as well. And um, you can see you can charge quite a lot of stuff. So it's really good for charging laptops and, and stuff. So we'll plug the Apple charger plug into there as well. And um, you can see it all comes up available on there. So is this actually charging? We'll turn on the AC. one there we go so as soon as you put the ac on it starts charging but you heard the fan come on then but it has gone off straight away so it is charging up but you can see we've got 49 hours so i think from memory let me just get this this spreadsheet so some of the things you can charge with a full battery on this so you can get use a 1600 watt hair dryer for 1.2 hours till it's zero capacity. Uh, you can use an induction cooker with a thousand watts and it will last for two hours. And a thousand watt microwave will last for two hours. Uh, electric lamp at 10 watts will give you 160 plus hours. 
a sump pump at 800 watts will give you 2.4 hours a refrigerator at 8, uh, 65 watts will give you 25 hours um, it will charge a 60 watt drone 30 times a rice cooker at 800 watts will last you 2.4 hours it will power a 900 watt drill for 2.1 hours a 1500 watt saw for 1.6 hours and it will also give you so if you're ever stuck in a situation you've got an electric car um, it will give you an additional 12 to 14 kilometers charging your electric car so you just plug it into the port like you would at home and you just plug it into your car um, and if you like a coffee maker if you can get up to 60 600 watts it'll give you sort of 60 to 80 cups of coffee so as you can tell it's quite a big chunky beast and um, there is smaller ones that you can get at this but we wanted the bigger one because we want to go off grid for longer um, but the main thing we wanted it for was Ali's hair dryer and hair strainers so whilst these are charging I'm going to plug these in as well just to see if it'll power all four of these so let's go for the Dyson Air app which I believe is quite as we have got a trouble hair dryer but the Dyson Air app is I think 1300 it, watts yeah I was going to say it'll be higher higher watts so it's quite a beast I think. so let's have a look to see if it'll power you don't know how to work it do you I haven't got a clue no that's it so as you can see it's on dry your hair with it then <laughs> so as you can see it's now pulling 629 but if we want to really crank it up to the hottest heat you see it's now going up to 964 watts and this is at full power so this will be 1300 watts yeah. you can see it's handling it really well so I'm going to turn that off because Ali will tell me after breaking the dice yes it's not a toy Josh um, but as you can see 1300 watt hair dryer and it's not even a travel hair dryer and it's working really well so that's a massive box tick for us um, because this is the main reason why we wanted an inverter we didn't really need 240 volt as much but you we come like we didn't realize did we until we got home that was like how am i going to draw my hair yeah we thought about it because we'd had it in the crafter before and this is so much easier because it just means that you don't have to wire anything in it's portable you can just take it with you whenever you want it involve it doesn't involve any mess does it nope it's really straightforward so the next one we'll try is the straighteners now i don't know what wattage straighteners are i don't think they're massive amounts of wattage to be fair but I'm going to guess they're about 250 watts. It may say on them. I was looking at them thinking, don't scratch my, <laughs> my 20 year old hair strainers. They're not 20. So these are the older ones, though, aren't they? I think the newer ones are less power now. And um, what does it say? So these are actually only 150 watts, so it should handle these like a breeze. Now that is a problem because why is that? There we go. How do you turn these bad boys on? There's a switch on. This is where I burn my fingers. That's it. It's you know it's on when it goes. Dilip. So you can see that you can hear that it's kicking in. Come on, but it will crank up slightly higher as it um, starts to run because that's where it uses its most power. And uh, they're not heated up yet. You have to wait for them to go. You get like a dee 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 dee. Dee. But uh, as you can see, it's handling it and it doesn't cut out. Um, that's it. There we go. So that's full heat fully now. heated them up. So come on, do your fringe then. That's another box of ticks, but that's gone off. I'm not doing my fringe because I'll burn myself. But as you can see, now it's heated them up. It doesn't actually use any power. So, so that I think shows everything we we won't need it for. But there's loads of other stuff you can use it for. Like I say, it's got a 4,000 watt power surge. So something like um. I think oh, what would you use that would crank up so quite high like that. I don't know. I don't know what it would Hoover? be. Hoover? Maybe, yeah. So maybe if you were plug, plugging a Hoover in, something high, high wattage like that. Something that basically needs like more than 2,000 watt, it will handle it with the inverter. Um, I know we've only had them on short periods of time, but I think like 10 minutes of a hairdryer, would, I don't think, think you'd, you'd even use that much. Um, but the beauty of this is, like I say, we can charge it with the cable that comes in it within the car while we're driving. Um, but we've also got solar panels that we've got outside. So we'll go and set the solar panels up and we'll show you what they are. But before we do that, there is also an app as well. So on here you've got Bluetooth. So if you hold that and can turn the Bluetooth on, you'll see that that has come on. There is an app, an all power app. 
So click on Bluetooth device, and then you can see on here, excuse the state of my screen protector, you can see it tells you how much it's got on there. Um, you can actually control it as well. So if I want to turn the DC off, you can see it's turned off on there. See the green light was pressed DC. That's now come back on. So it can be fully controlled via the Bluetooth app in the van. Um, but yeah, you can see we've got 296 hours. It's going up and down because obviously it's charging, but yeah, another cool feature. Um, you can't do it over Wi-Fi, it is only Bluetooth. I think that's the difference of the Bluetta, you can do it over Wi-Fi so you can turn them on and off as you out and about. So we will go and get the solar power set up and we'll show you what that looks like and how long the cable is and stuff, what comes in the bag. Um, so this is the solar panel. Um, you wouldn't believe it was a solar panel, but it is a solar panel in there. So it comes in this little fold-up packet and it unfolds out basically just by unclipping these and then it opens up. But you do get some accessories with this as well. So you get a little pouch at the back. So here's the zip on it. Today's the perfect day for testing it as well because it's literally the brightest sun I've ever seen. So here you get what looks like a solar panel connector um, to a DC port. I don't know where that would go. You've also got a bunch of other different connectors. I'm assuming so this can be used for other stuff as well. You've also got solar panel to your battery charger. So if you ever need to charge your um, car battery or leisure battery, you can do by just putting these clips on. You then get another um, XT60 connection for the solar panel, which is what we'll be using today. And then you get another bunch of silica gel and a user guide, which again, we're not going to look at. Uh, but quality wise, it's really good quality to be fair. I'm really impressed with that. So we're going to go and set this up outside and we will show you some videos of what it looks like when it's set up. Um, I'm hoping the charge will reach the cable, but yeah, we'll go and get it set up and then we'll show you what it looks like. I'm assuming that's what goes in. We didn't manage to get it plugged in with solar. We've realised now that we've come away that we've actually got the wrong connector. So what we should have is an XT60 connector here, but it looks like it's a different type of connector. Um, so we just need to speak to All Power or order one from online, and then we can use the solar power on it. But but yeah, overall, really happy with what it can do. Um, it's really nice and small. I don't know if you can see if I move the squeaky table, but we plan on keeping it just under here. So we can just slide it in and out under there when we don't want to use it and it just sits there nicely out of the way. So yeah, thumbs up for All Power. So um, there'll be a link in the description below. Um, all Power didn't pay us to make this review, so all our reviews are honest on there, but yeah, it's the first one we've had. Um, but yeah, really impressed with it so far. So yeah, go check it out if you're in, in the market for an all power. And like I say, it's a really economical solution instead of getting an inverter and lithium batteries and solar panels on the board. I mean, you can just buy a kit that pretty much does what you need to. But one bonus with that as well, with it being lithium, um, you can use it 3000 plus recharges. So even if you used to charge it every single day, you'd probably get 10 years use out of it um, at least. So well worth looking into so yeah thank you very much for watching and um yeah stay tuned for the motorhome pickup video we're doing and our trip that failed and then we'll come back to our trip so yeah we'll explain more in the next video but thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one bye